<laughs> Dad, do you remember where the password is? Give fuck 69. <laughs> <laughs> I live for it. I live. My whole childhood years, I wish I could have said that to you so many times. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Upstairs getting ready. Wow. Is anyone gonna tell me if there's a real fire? <laughs> because it's you so are killing loud it. up there. Cooked in infrared, and also look who we have joining us. Oh, is that, so that's the infrared. They look amazing. Look at it. me. Okay, so well, just look at it. Look at those shoes. Though. Just look at it. <laughs> at least they're glittery. <laughs> Dad, you killed it. You've done so much good stuff today. You like, you like did the dishes. You like grated cheese. So the fire goes up through the two layers and it radiates three Ooh, mushroom. Yeah. And then it's, it's so big. good. It's, it's just um, I made some potatoes au gratin right there. Delicious. I won I, I wung that. I almost thought I wung that like like I winged it, but I I I won how the hell do you say that? Some good this is a perfect spot to lay a piper. It's amazing. Good job. Um, Nick made this mac and cheese. It is so good. Got some ham up there, carrots, and this is hash brown casserole. And I'm about to put my popovers in. Then we've got some chicken cooking in here. So my parents left, and now it's just us and the dogs. But my mom is about to be here. But in like an hour, are you touching my butt? Mm -hmm. Well, she's driving all the way from uh, far Illinois, far, far, far away. I don't know what we're gonna do. We've been eating I want some a apple feast. Cider. I don't have any apple cider. <coughs> what? Oh, we're we gonna have coffee? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna think of it. What? Oh, we don't, have, we don't have any apple cider. Apple juice. Leo's got a diapy on because he's been peeing on stuff inside the house, huh? Mom, stuff that she worked so hard to buy. Hey, hi, pretty girl. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. What are you making? You literally just grabbed all this crap out of the fridge and stuff to try and make, um, what is it? Apple cider. Apple cider. Like, instead of apples, oranges are using just, or oranges are using orange juice and apple sauce. <laughs> Oranges. <laughs> we'll see how this is. <laughs> Your hair is so messed up. <laughs> it looks real good. Ooh, it smells good. You gonna put whiskey in it? Yeah. It's a little bit bland, but it's good. <laughs> I think I put too much water in there, but it's, it's tasty. That's fucking hot still. I don't think I can... My mom is probably gonna fart in front of you and stuff, so just let you know. <laughs> She'll probably accidentally let them slip. Okay, one, two. Wait a couple counts after I say three, because okay. it takes a second. Okay, one, two, three. I'll, I'll do this when it's ready. Hey there, Miss Donna. Come hurry home and get you some hot apple cider. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're such a dork. Did Dad make you that robe? It's so nice. Uh, all right, uh, Nick is putting on some socks that my mom bought for me. Well, I like your little, actually, your little palms are supposed to be on the outside. Was, there was actually a pair and I thought of him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna win Monopoly. We're playing Monopoly on the Switch. That's my mom. Mom, you're up. I don't think no, I'm gonna win up. Monopoly. Wait, whoa, whoa. I, you're you a, already roll? You're the skate. No, but it was your turn when you walked I away. already win. Oh, you did. And I bought a property. You did? You did it on, on the slot. Not my fault you weren't paying attention. You guys were watching this weirdo put my little palm socks on. You sound cocky, babe. I don't think I'm gonna win. Oh my gosh, you, oh, you won last you night. You're so you're cocky. Gonna... I think I'm gonna win again. <laughs> we're not doing anything very exciting. Um, we're gonna shave that thing off. 
Aren't we? One stash? Yeah, we're gonna shave it off. It's a firefighter mustache. Oh, no, I'd say it's more like a like a tombstone mustache. Mm. But the little Holiday soul mustache. patch down here. Yeah. I love the soul patch. Oh, I bet you do. Mm -hmm. All my friends made fun of him for that, like behind his back when we before they'd met. They're like, "Oh, this guy's got a freaking flavor saver, huh?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, he's from San. You know, he lives in San Diego. He's kind of a bro." <laughs> it is snowing. Wow. We are literally about to take off for the airport. And it's freaking snowing. Hopefully, it's all good. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs. I have to finish filming a video. There was a drive-by shooting in front of my house last night. <clears throat> that was scary. I'll talk more about this later. <laughs> okay, we're a little late moving here. But Karen and my dad are in town right now. And I haven't really been vlogging because I've been super freaking busy, but we're loading into the truck and we are going to Viva Global Rescue. Oh, jeez. Um, we are going to Viva Global Rescue to make a donation. If you guys follow us on Instagram or follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it, but we're making a $50,000 donation. Um, I already have my purse, babe. It's an empty to. purse. <laughs> So we're heading out there right now um, and we're gonna meet Close some garage. horses and see some of the horses that we are sponsoring for an entire year. So say hi to my vlog, hi. parentals. Uh, one more thing, I get some water off and then we'll Oh yeah, okay. The sun has been setting so freaking early, um, so that's yeah, fun. Short days. And then uh, tomorrow is gonna be our Christmas Eve because Nick has to work on Christmas and we're gonna make tamales. Well, I thought that's Thursday. Are we making tamales on Christmas? Christmas our, Eve is our Thursday. Christmas. Christmas Eve is our Christmas, right? Christmas Eve is our Christmas. That's Thursday. So are we making tamales on the 24th or the 23rd? 24th. <laughs> <laughs> so I emptied all my stuff and put it in my other purse. And then Nick brought this one because he's so sweet. He thought that I was leaving my purse, so he brought me this one. Oh, it's totally empty. <laughs> okay, we'll check in with you guys when we get there. Okay, we just got here and we've got Lexi from our team over there getting some footage. She's got some really good footage actually of the horse bucking and having a super fun time over there. I have some people to introduce you to. I don't think I've ever actually introduced May on my blog or hey. vlog. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible at this. <laughs> um, but uh, she and Callie founded Viva Global Rescue. So thank you so much for letting us like hang out. Thank you for coming. Thank you for everything you do. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> before I forget, I have your check here. <laughs> right <Yeah>. there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Oh, that's we amazing. would hug, but um, COVID. <laughs> COVID. So we'll Together. pretend. <laughs> awesome and I love the new space like this is such a big space yeah for them. I mean it was big before oh yeah but, like, totally it's I mean more. it's so great to have this many you know acres it's just hard to find a lot of acreage in Southern California for horse property so yeah. we're super happy that we were able to <laughs> yeah. expand and grow for sure I was sending you houses yeah <laughs> <laughs> I was like what I was like saying something around like Murrieta or Temecula I was like you guys should yeah, look over there we go. here <laughs> and this is Callie <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, that, <laughs> do you remember me from last time, sweetie? Do you? It's a pretty girl. All right, so it's Christmas Eve, but this is our Christmas because Nick is going to work tomorrow. So today we're gonna make tamales. I've got the horn, the horn husks, the corn, the corn husks soaking in here. 
and I'm about to prepare the meat and then we'll, we got pre-made masa, but then we'll fluff that up. Got all the tips and tricks from my friend Teresa. Let's see how the fan, oh. how those fan blades burn, man. <laughs> Nick ripped off all the fan blades in the light in here. Check this out. Really? <gasps> got really nice art up here. Yeah, he took them all the way off. They're, they're and now they're in the fire. fire. <laughs> I think we should decorate them and then burn them. Decorate everything from 2020 that we're not happy with. Oh, we should write it on, write it on there. Write it on there and then right? burn them. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Did you know how long it takes to grow a Christmas tree that's this tall? Or probably even less tall than that. This is the tall one. I'm yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm going to say okay. six years. Uh, so I'm going to say, wait, we had one. I'm going to say four. Seven to ten. Oh, because we had one. I think. Um, winner. Winner, winner, winner. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It made me feel bad about buying like an actual cut down tree. Yeah. How was your Christmas Eve, little girl? We've got a minefield of dogs around us trying to cook here. How did your tomatillos come out? Uh, so I, far? I, all I did was talk to them there. Yeah, I know, but the process. Um, I've got my uh, peppers over here. I'm uh, taking the seeds out, and then I'm gonna cook these. Yum, we got our um, tomatillo. Well, not our, Nick made this one. Um, he broiled the tomatillos and everything. Looks super good. I just texted my cousin, and she was like, we're making tamales too. <laughs> The last time we made tamales, um, cause my stepmom's side of the family is Mexican and the last time we made tamales, um, my dad said they weren't very good. I was really young, so we get another shot this year. How cute are these? Nick got these for me. Um, these are uh, poblanos that Nick uh, grilled on the um, grill, obviously. And uh, they're gonna go in the poblano and cheese tamales. Piper's trying to decide if she likes this lime that I gave her. You like it? You like it? Is it good? It is so cool. It's raining outside right now, but it's like sunny too. How pretty, I'm trying to find a rainbow. Not seeing one, not yet. We've got an assembly line. Well, not really an assembly line. They're shredding some of the meats. Shredding. With their little meats. paramedic gloves on. We've got some of the sauce ready to go here for the cheese ones. And we've got our um, chicken and tomatillo there. And we're getting pretty close here. Tasty? Welcome to the Kershaw household, Christmas 2020. This is Nick Kershaw blog, angle. take one. Look at yourself, just pull that screen out. There's so many chins happening. Oh, so many chins. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas 2020, take two. <laughs> What's on the table? Today, this Christmas, we have a bowl of maza, a bowl of chicken, a bowl of pork, roasted poblano, poblano peppers, queso, Oaxaca, salsa verde, and a bowl, Monterey Jack. Y más queso. And one beautiful girl <laughs> and a shit ton of dogs. Karen. I was looking for Leo. Say hello, Karen, hello. to our Nick Kershaw <laughs> vlog on making tamales. Oh, it's it's yeah. Kershaw vlog now. Yeah. And leotard. We need to cheers in our glass, our uh, shot glasses from Mexico. Well, Grandma would be so proud. She would. <laughs> we should send her a picture. Feliz Navidad. Yay! Feliz Navidad! Cheers! Tamale, Cheers! 2020. All right, new tradition. Welcome back.
back to Christmas 2020, uh, <laughs> making tamales with Kershaw. I just showed Kershaw. Kristen how oh, to do the malta. You're oh sucked so bad. And the cheese so and the bad. meat. So uh, bad. She took some notes, slowly oh. improving. Wow. Um, you still didn't get it on the sides, Karen. Oh you don't get it on the sides, yeah, right? It's going pretty good. I'll give you a little up close and personal. Um, pretty much. Well, because close. she did it. No, when she did it. Right. She did they're doing this. pretty good. And then she had enough How that they didn't happen. Oh, so mine are great. Yours, on the other hand? Oof. All right, so you want more on the sides. Okay. Hey, guys. Today is a very cool day because Nick and I are heading out to out San Diego to Farm Animal Refuge. They are a really cool refuge for farm animals that they rescue. They actually have some like handy capable goats. And they have like these little carts that help them like walk around and run around so they can still frolic it's and enjoy like their lives. Our house too, right? Farm farm animal rescue. Basically. Like, yeah. Kind of rescued me from <laughs> farm animal. Cute. Um, yes. Well, kind of rescued me too. Um, so we're uh, heading out there to make a donation to have um, to help them create a basically a predator safe barn for the um, pigs that they have there. So I'm super super excited to meet the pigs. I have been wanting a pig for quite a while, and I've been eyeballing. <clears throat> I keep getting on um, some of the uh, adoption websites like Pet Finder and stuff and I keep finding pigs near me that need to be adopted and I just want to pull the trigger, but <clears throat> it's not the best timing right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm super excited to meet the pigs. Are you excited to meet the pigs? Heck yeah. Uh, uh, very appropriate shirt you have on there too. Um, what is that? Soldiers, Soldiers against for Wildlife. Soldiers for Wildlife. They're against, against, against poaching. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty freaking excited to meet some pigs and we're going to take a look at the location that they're going to build the barn and that should be done probably like in a little while. Um, I think it's going to take like eight weeks or something. So I'm going to bring you guys and you guys can meet some of the pigs with us. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your support with Arctic Fox. That's how we're able to make these donations and we really wouldn't be able to without you guys. So thank you so much for that. And let's go check out um, the farm. Hi. Going to Farm Animal Refuge had such a good time. It was super cool to see everybody and meet everybody. I think my favorite might have to be Millie. She is just like so precious. Um, wow, the sunset looks really cool. I thought I got to show you guys. Hi, Pie B. No jumping, sweetheart. You know better than that. Um, looks really pretty out here. Saturday, we're heading back to Nashville. Um, but this is just so beautiful out here. You guys gotta see. It's like hazy right now and just like really beautiful. My crows are going crazy just sitting up there. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're gonna go back to Nashville on Saturday and I can't travel back to Nashville by myself with both the dogs, so Nick's gonna go with me for a little bit. Um, oh! How cool is that? That's so awesome, they hook us up with some shirts. That is so cute, all pickles. Yeah. That's so cute. That's <laughs> so rad. Was your favorite Millie too? Yeah. Millie was just yeah. like a little heart Stole stealer. Heart for sure. Good morning. It is 7.24 on a Saturday. And I got up so freaking early today because we were leaving on a flight back to Nashville. And Nick's gonna come with me for about 10 days or so. And he is still stuck at work right now. Um, Usually, if if you have someone that is a fireman, you know that usually people get there at like 6.30 to relieve the other person and just, that's what you do. Even though you don't start till seven. 
So it's 7.30 and this person still hasn't shown up for him. And so our, we're supposed to leave our house at eight. He's 20 minutes away from here. We still have to drop a trailer off and then get to the airport. So I might be paying for 10 days of valet parking. I'm not really too sure, but kind of annoying. I got up at 5 a.m. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's not his fault, but um, I got up at 5 a.m. so that I could make sure everything was taken care of. And if you know me at all, you know that I absolutely hate getting up early. It is like the worst thing in the world. Um, oh my gosh, my testosterone cream. Good thing I didn't forget that. Um, oh, he's calling me, hang on. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm on my way. Hallelujah. 